okay so we looked at fallacies now we're going to look at more fallacies uh, fallacies are basically wrong reasoning so let's look at more examples of bad logic metaphorical fallacy is basically when you say x is metaphorically equal to y y is equal to literally equal to z and then you conclude x is literally equal to z which may not be true for example sam said i am a computer metaphorically speaking you're not really a computer he behaves like a computer tina says can i reboot you she's literally taking what sam said then we have argument from incredulity for example we look at example usha says there is no life on the moon because no one can live in outer space and the proof that there's no life on the moon depends on it's impossible to live in outer space that's not really a good proof but she's because it's incredible that's a proof and there's another bad example of logic vinod says i can't do badly in exams therefore i must have done well in exams then wajit says nobody can lift the pyramid stones hence pyramids must be built by dinosaurs or aliens these are all bad logical reasoning and what about negative proof because and that's arguing that something must exist because there is no evidence it does not exist and this is also a bad logic vanda says i must be genius because no one has called me an idiot sirs says there are no aliens because nobody is there are no aliens because nobody has seen them and just because somebody has not seen them doesn't mean there's a proof that they're not there or there okay so you have to actually look far enough to know about more about it and what does equivocation mean equivocation means using different meanings of the same word Xavier says, "All river have a bank. Therefore, there must be money in the river. So, bank has two different meaning: a river bank and a money bank." Yeti says, "Politicians are a headache. Aspirin tablet will cure a headache. Therefore, aspirins can cure politicians. So, they're using headache in two different ways." Zahir says, "Average family has 2.7 people, and Usha is average. So, family has 2.7 people." so the meaning of average is different from average usha being average you can find lot more examples if you look around association asma says hitler was a vegetarian therefore vegetarians are dangerous so just because x is associated with y doesn't mean y has the same qualities as x charlie chaplin in the movie great dictator about fascism It's a good movie to watch. What's poisoning the well mean, Katie? Let's read about Microsoft from a book written by Bill Gates. He never graduated from college, and the line "He never graduated from college," she's poisoned the well by telling us that, like, don't read the book, or it's not really a good book. And do you know these people? I'll think about it. This guy, this guy, this guy. and what does manufacturing consent means so it's a common technique where you get newspapers to print articles and take polls to present your view point and you could actually for example a common headline you see in newspaper is cricket match fixing is a bigger problem than corruption hunger and safety for women and all you see people is discussing uh, cricket problems instead of discussing serious problems like hunger or corruption and what is red herring So it's the same thing. Divert attention from the main topic. Ajit says, "People are tired of paying bribes to corrupt officers." Bunty agrees with Ajit. Yes, corruption is a big problem in cricket. I will arrest the cricketers who take bribes. So he's basically diverted the problem from the problem Ajit is trying to address to one he's got in his mind. Then wrong use of statistics. This guy is Dilbert. What is saying? I don't have any accurate numbers, so I just made this one up. Studies have shown that accurate numbers aren't any more useful than the ones you make up. And this is how many studies show that? Eighty-seven. So this is basically you see a lot of figures being quoted in media where with nothing to back it up, or somebody just makes up the numbers, and there's no one to check that you really actually did a sample properly or not, or what the sample was. And wrong use of statistics. Donna says, "Ninety percent of the accidents happen in kitchen, so I stop cooking." Eugene, more people died in car accidents than in wars. 
so I am protesting against car makers instead of war. Falguni. People who celebrate more birthdays live longer, so I'm going to have more birthdays. So, can you think of more examples? Well, I'm sure you can have lots of examples. Let's look at more fallacies. Gambler's fallacy. Ganesh says, we have lost last six games, so we are likely to win the next six games. Honavar says, I found money on the road when I was wearing a blue shirt, so I'm wearing the same blue shirt for my exams. These are fallacies that when something happens, it will happen again or it will happen the other way around based on wrong use of probability theory. And begging the question is the same thing as x implies x. Ingrid says eating meat is bad because it is bad. This is applying bad bad. Jaish, I will be the president because I am the greatest. Katie, no truth is a lie. Lenny, uh, opium causes sleepiness because it is soporific. It basically means the same thing, sleepiness, sleepiness. And quoting, uh, quoting is a common example you see in newspapers. Anu says, I don't think we should drink tea at night. And then Bina quotes Anu out of context. Anu said she doesn't think. Charu also misquotes her. Anu said we should drink at night. And basically she is taking part of the sentence, not removing some other part of the sentence. Misquoting. And Dina says Anu said we should drink without thinking. And if you rearrange the words, you can. And people actually, it's very common when they don't listen carefully or they don't understand properly, they, or they deliberately misquote you. Sachin says, for example, I am afraid we will lose the match unless we put a good fight. And then all these people report Sachin. What does Sarun say? Sachin admits he is afraid. I am afraid, Sachin said that. Vikas says, Sachin expects to lose the match. I am afraid we lose the match. Sachin wants to fight in the match unless we put a good fight. So this is the second meaning of fight. And then uh, Zandu actually uses the afraid and the good fight. Sachin afraid to fight. Yatish. Sachin wants to have a good fight. So you can see how many different ways you can take a simple sentence and misquote the person. And what is false economy? False economy is basically trying to save money initially, but in the, you waste money in the long run. And you see lots of examples in real life. And it requires a lot of planning to actually uh, save money in the long run. For example, they are buying plastic cups. Cheaper plastic cups instead of a ceramic cup. And you will see, for example, bargain shopping. You save 100 rupees, but you waste half an hour looking around. And then you have to calculate the cost of your half an hour or the energy you waste spent in bargain shopping. And did you really want it or you just got a coupon so you went and bought something that you didn't want. And then you argue with a taxi driver to save 10 rupees or 10 dollar when you could have saved a headache for a small amount of change. Not argue. And so it's basically also picking your battles, they would say. Don't spend time on the small stuff. Don't set on the small stuff. Okay, so then more examples are Meena says, Raju, finish your medicines today as they will expire tomorrow. Anil, our medical insurance has been a waste. We haven't got sick once last year. Can you think of more examples of false economy? Let's look at some more examples. Logic of fashion. You take a shoe like this and you expect a foot like this to fit into a shoe like that. That's the logic of fashion instead of comfort and uh, function. And advertising you see a lot. If you just go to Google Images and look for advertising. In real life, a Big Mac looks like this. In a picture, it looks like this. And you can actually make things look better in a picture. And sometimes not even real cheese or meat or bread. It's just a picture. Marketing. So... This guy is saying, for competitive reasons, we rebranded all our 4G products as 8G. And that really works well because people actually buy stuff looking at a box and a name and a brand. And for examples are known, well known, in, even in software. If the software installs in one second, like a we will probably think it's, it's not good software versus a software that takes 10 minutes to install. Or software that comes in a box with a colorful CD is better than a software that comes in a... You can download free from the internet. 
so branding is very important in marketing and people actually mistake the box for the product and then so these are all ads from google images on blogger and stuff so it says more doctors smoke camel than any other cigarette is it correct is it legal is it effective ad so this guy is wearing a jacket and he's smoking and he's a doctor so somehow you feel that okay if a doctor can smoke you can even smoke how about this one as your dentist i would recommend viceroy's so is this a misleading ad it came in a certain you can find it on google again and a dentist holding a white coat and something in his hand a mirror and he's recommending cigarettes and then showing the filter some more it seems to be ad is it misleading is it accurate you need to figure it out and there's quackery bad science so once upon a time maybe 100 years back radium was not known to be radioactive they started as magic properties so you have a radium bottle solution for drinking and it, people used to drink it and then die from cancer like 5 10 years later and it took a long time for people to figure out it's not safe to drink uh, radiation water and there are many examples uh, creating a political opinion so what you do is you make up a story unverifiable anecdote and get sympathy and basically you create personal stories about suffering about people unknown people and as talent said uh, one person dying is a tragedy a million people dying is statistics so and there are many examples and that you can find more if you're interested reading Machiavelli's book the prince or Voltaire's book candy day and then Goebbels actually said it is an absolute right of a state to supervise the formation of public opinion. We will go down in history as the greatest statesman of all time or greatest criminals. So, it's so pretty common to manipulate opinion and you should watch out for logical fallacies in things you read or hear. Thank you.